I feel like Ghostbuster or something. <laughs> Don't cross streams. It just looks like a reporter from the 80s. Or like you're, you're, you're testing for radiation levels. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so this is Kai Wong reporting to you from the Super Boca Bros test track. No, not really. We are looking at this. Gimbal for the Empire. Whoa. He thinks it's a stick. Wants to fetch. Fetch the stick. It looks like a Canon L lens, doesn't it? Well, you can put a Canon camera on it. People say I'm like some Canon rep or I sell Canon cameras because I did a photo competition. No, they don't even give me cameras to review. So that's how good a relationship is, isn't it? Anyway, let's stick this in. Yes, here's a mic. I'm not happy to see you. Just because of that, I'm going to go ahead and use a Canon. I mean, a Nikon, sorry. <laughs> All right, so what am I doing? I'm balancing it. You watch fuck you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> My least favourite thing in the whole world is balancing a bloody gimbal. So it's got a quick release, yeah? So this is the, the quick release plate. It's a bit different to other gimbal plates because you just click it in like this. OK, it's on. There we are. So it's got a quick release button on that side and then you just take it off like that. So you can, once you balanced it, you can just remove it quickly. Okay, um, now let's unlock it. Unlock, unlock, unlock. There we are. Now let's balance it. I don't know why I'm putting on his voice. Oh, there you go. Quick. Oh, super quick. Crane M3. It's got a little light there. M3 oh. is lit up. Wow. You mean, oh, who would thought putting a light in front? Oh. Oh, you've spoiled the surprise there because uh, you wouldn't have guessed it. But there you go. Boom. Whoa. So we can adjust the power. Is that oh. power? Yeah. Am I blinding you? Yeah. And then press it again. That changes the colour temp. 2600 to 5400K. It comes with this little expansion port. <laughs> you can add this to the base of it. So you've got another quarter inch expansion port. And then a camera control. I don't even know why I'm holding this like I'm speaking to it. <laughs> Uses the big. Not the, it's not a three millimeter one. This is 6.5? 6. Wow. 6. Pro. Yeah, pro stuff. I mean, on the website, they've got this guy, he's running, trying to keep up with a marathon runner. I don't know if he's a marathon runner because he doesn't have a number. He looks more like Forrest Gump or maybe just a uh, homeless person. And one of them's holding the Crane M3 and the reporter's trying to ask questions. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing the reporting and the running about. It's so cool, you know? People be going to be jealous of me. <laughs> A marathon runner. That's what they should have showed, gimbal operating and interviewing at the same time. That would have been way more wow, like this. FYI, that is lock running as fast as he can. The reason why the expansion port is quite handy is because, you know, you can have this here and then the mic, you just use a short cable. So you don't need to have anything attached here to throw off the balance. It's all there. But let's take off just to show you just how compact that is. It cost my money because we, we mean business now. All right. I mean, it feels pretty good. I was fearing that because it's uh, small and lighter that it would feel a bit off balance. You know, you don't want it to be all the weight to be up top and you've just got tiny grip. But it's pretty good. So it, it doesn't feel like it's struggling. Last time I did try to balance it with the Sony A7 III and the 2470 F4. It was pushed back a little bit far, especially with an ND filter on. With this super lightweight lens, the Z6 II, so it's full frame. That's quite lightweight, cheapo zoom. No so problems. So with M3 again. M3. Everything looks better lit up. Every camera should have their model name lit up like that. <laughs> but you know, this feels good. This is a full frame. I'm holding this one-handed. It doesn't feel tiring at the minute, but I've only been holding it for a few minutes. With some other gimbals, when you hold it for just, just a few minutes, it's like, oh my God, yeah. why have got to put this down? This is one of the reasons why I thought this is pretty cool. I've no interest in using any heavy gimbals because I'll never take it out. And this fits, fits into a backpack, fits into to this bag quite easily. The other modes, we've got some modes here. It's a touch screen, pan follow, 
It's, it does, you can follow Tim Pan. He's actually on the website for the M3. His face. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's try and do the vortex thing because, you know, that's not been overdone, has it? <laughs> you do on these, isn't it? Whoa! Oh, shit. This white balance is totally off. I've had it set to uh, <laughs> my custom white balance at home. <laughs> okay, never mind. Portrait. Okay, here we are. Locks on my Instagram stories. You're going to come up with something interesting now, aren't you? To, to make this Instagram story worthy. Uh... There we go. Thank you very much. POV. Oh, if you, you're going to do Dutch angles or if you're <laughs> going to do this kind of like drunk, drunk, drunk. Oh, wobbly. Oh. Wobbly, but smooth at the same time. <laughs> yeah. This is like me trying to land in Microsoft's flight simulator. Oh, pull up, pull up. We can do a stabilisation comparison. The S5 has got fantastic in-body stabilisation. But is it as good as this? No, I don't think so. No, it's a gimbal. <laughs> yeah. So you can do it like this. You can, you, can, you can chase marathon runners. Even though my pants are falling down. See, this is the, the Superbroker Bros test track. We've got everything covered. Exactly. This is the stabilisation corner. <laughs> this is not park, it's test track. So it's just for us. But occasionally we let people in. Because we're kind. We are kind to the community. That's the kind of people we are. <laughs> Somebody's been run over. I know, he's changing his oil. Of course, when you think of uh, changing your oil filters, where do you come? To uh, your garage? No, you come to park, do all the messy stuff here, leave the oil here. Okay, great. Specially built. Specially built for gimbal testing and other stabilisation stuff. Okay, here we go. There's not too many buttons and dials and stuff like that. Expansion port, got a joystick here. That controls it, obviously. M button. Oh, there's the mode. So you just have to know what all those different things stand for, which you can see here. But if you go into mode and you press M, you can see it changing. All right, well, what else can you do? Info language, Chinese or English. It's fine if you understand any of those languages. And then balance. Oh, and a little, uh, see that? USB-C power. So you can uh, use a power uh, You can use this to control settings. Aperture, shutter, ISO, so zoom. One thing is that the battery is built in. I guess that's one of the reasons why it's so compact. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Try not to bump my head like Locke did just now. Uh, try a selfie, stealthy as well. So, stealthy, stealthy, I mean selfie. Stealthy, stealthy, selfie. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, there we are. Uh, yeah, pretty much that's, that's all you can say about a gimbal. Thanks for watching, see ya. <laughs> I, just, I just find it funny, the, the, the LED light is one of the selling points, like, oh, yeah. Well, it's funny, it's become, it's like the LED light has become a recent thing on gimbals, doesn't it? Yeah, like I can't put one on top. Well, I guess it saves, saves adding more weight onto the, to this bit, isn't it? What more can you do to a gimbal these days, isn't it? You make it smaller. That's good. The payload. Yeah. Or you add some features. What features can you do? A uh, quick release, you know. Done that long yeah. time ago. Or light. I light. guess that's the new, <laughs> the new thing, isn't it? It's all about size for me. Yeah. You know, I've been holding this for, for plenty of time now. Just one-handed. It was a great setup anybody using mirrorless cameras, even for full framers. Just as long as you don't use a lens that's too heavy because obviously this can only go back so far. As I'm sure I've said before, what else can you do with a gimbal? Things like the built-in light are a little bonus feature. The expansion grip is kind of useful, but the biggest thing is that they've made it small. What it is, is a gimbal that's just enough for people who don't like carrying more than enough. That's all there is to say about it. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.